Hey, what's up Diecast fans? Joel 20 Studios here today and bringing you another Diecast review on these three models that I have ordered from online. As you can see, two of them came in the box, packaged up, and one actually came loose. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this um, through and so you can see what the models are. So let's start with this one in like a lime green or chartreuse or yellow green if you would. This is the Toyota Sienta in the 160 scale which is from Tomica. This is one of the models, one of the newest models that was unveiled for this year. Really nice looking van. Of course the trunk actually does open. Yeah. yeah a number of other vehicles have open trunks. Yeah, I do like the lime green color in this. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this one. This is the BMW M850i. This is actually a model that I ordered from a seller across the seas. Yeah. Really looks unique. Part of the premium series. Let's go ahead and unbox this. Get a good look at it. Here it is up close. Really nice looking sedan. Coupe, or, or coupe I should say. And then here, this is a new model that I actually found. There's a dealer version I found from a seller overseas. This is a Honda. See, it's like in a golden yellow. This is the Honda ZRV. Let's just see the look of it. It's a either a crossover or a it's station wagon. And uh, either way, it pretty much looks like a station wagon. Here it close. Yeah, I like finding pretty unique rare models that are usually not here sold here in America. Those models are like usually very hard to find. So I, I would say that I kind of saying the last one, but there actually is another one that's being sold online. So yeah, overall, it's a really nice looking model. So yeah, so that'll do it for this diecast review on these models. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like as well as comment, subscribe, tell me what you think of these three models, which one did you like the most? And hopefully I've inspired a lot of you to find some more vehicles from outside of the USA. So until then, I'm Joel 20 Studios and I'll see you diecast fans next time. Peace.